Lloydsburg Area Free Public Library, do you know that August 7th is International Lighthouse Day? And I'm going to read you a story called The Lighthouse Cat by Sue Stainton and Anne Mortimer. Okay, so if anybody's been to the beach, you'll always see lighthouses on the shore protecting the coast. The old lighthouse stood proudly on the very edge of the rocks and it sparkled its message over every mood of the sea. Blue seas lapped and whispered, green seas danced, and every once in a while, black seas raged. The lighthouse was watched over by only a straggle of sugar-cubed cottages that bounced high up on the edges of the cliffs, crawling slowly down to a fishing village farther along the bay. You could scramble down the slippery rocks, but the only easy way to the lighthouse was by boat. At the very top of the old lighthouse, the great 24 candle lantern sent its light nearly as far as the sky. At dawn, oh, yawning, the lonely lighthouse keeper scanned the wide ocean for ships. Keeping the candles lit was his most important job. Without fail, his pocket watch would remind him to check the lantern light and trim the candle wicks every half hour. It was well known that without the old lighthouse, the jagged rocky coastline would be littered with shipwrecks. It's an old lighthouse for by candlelight. Every Friday, if the sea was friendly, a boat from the fishing village would bring supplies to the lighthouse keeper. On one particular Friday, he piled the boxes high on the round kitchen table and realized it was already time to check the lantern. Up, 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 he climbed to where the 24 candles glowed obediently. Sometimes the lighthouse keeper would try to make things more interesting and gallop up, 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 three steps at a time, or hop down, down, down on one leg, but he usually just plodded. Down, down, down he went, thinking of lunch, and suddenly rolled head over heels, thump, 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 all the way down, down, down. There he found himself nose to nose with something. The something had bright yellow eyes and was a swirled with stormy colors of silvery gray shadowy fish. When the something meowed, the lighthouse keeper chuckled and called him mackerel. Then he laughed and he laughed and he laughed. This was the best thing in this week's groceries. The two became inseparable. Little Mackerel would follow the lighthouse keeper everywhere. Up, 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 down, down, down. Mackerel made friends with the seagulls and the puffins and explored every nook of the rocky crap. He gazed at himself in the rock pools and quickly learned about crabs and slippery seaweed. Mackerel knew how to scan the sea, and when he spotted a whale or a boat, he would tap the lighthouse keeper's nose or jump onto his shoulder. Every night without fail, the two of them would go up, up, up to the very top of the lighthouse, watch the night seas, and keep the candles burning. Sometimes on sunny days, they would add another coat of paint to the lighthouse's red and white stripes, or sit on the very edge of the rocks and watch for dolphins. When the tide was really low, they would scour the beach and collect driftwood so that on stormy days, the lighthouse keeper would set to work on his carved and curved and rounded furniture. Once, they even found a message in a bottle. Woo, I wonder who's sending a message. The lighthouse keeper loved his lighthouse with its round rooms. Now he whistled and he was never even the tiniest bit lonely. With mackerel, the lighthouse was the best and only place in the world. And still, without fail, they would check the lantern light every half hour. Every day and every night was the same, except for one. It was known and feared that in times of terrible storms, the candles could blow out. One dark night, the black clouds gathered speed and whisked through the heavens. The sea leaped in a frenzy at the command of the storm. The waves rose ever higher, and the moon kept blinking as it was buffeted by the wind. In one huff, the wind gathered all its strength and blew out all the candles in the lighthouse as though it were a birthday cake. 
Now the lighthouse stood blind as the wind spiraled delightfully around. Shivering mackerel gazed hard out to sea, watching a small fishing boat disappear and reappear through the mountainous sea, ever drifting toward the jagged toothed rocks. Was that two eyes flashing at him from the boat? Was that the lighthouse keeper? For an instant, the moon lit up Mackerel's yellow eyes and he flew down, 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 then out onto the rocky outcrop. Mackerel saw the lighthouse keeper frantically waving a lantern, but the wind blew that out too, like a feather. <sighs> Mackerel knew what he had to do. He sped up, up, up to the top of the lighthouse and caterwauled and screamed at the top of his voice to the heavens. Meow, meow. For a moment, the wind stopped to listen. Mackerel's yells reached the twitching ears of every cat sleeping in the cottages, dotting the high cliffs. Then 11 cats, also cat wallowing and screaming, came slipping and sliding, running, jumping, tumbling down the cliffside. In the chaos, plant pots crashed, fish necks unraveled, and onions and potatoes bumped down the cliffs after them. Within minutes, 11 wet and wailing cats had sped up, up, up to the top of the lighthouse. Mackerel was waiting, one by one, each jumped up next to him and gazed at the thrashing fishing boat. All 12 cats called to the moon, and again the wind whisked, stopped to listen. The clouds parted and the moon peeped through and reflected in the cat's eyes. At that very moment, the lighthouse keeper looked up in desperation. He saw 24 little lights at the very top of the lighthouse where their lanterns should have shone. Suddenly, the fishing boat must see them. Up, 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 the lighthouse keeper ran. He watched wide-eyed. He hoped. He prayed. Then, very slowly, the little fishing boat turned and miraculously turned away from the rocks. Again, Mackerel saw the two eyes flash back at him from the boat. The 12 cats all looked around and smiled. Much later, in a tumbleweed cottage, under a ca another cat smiled too and warmed herself in front of a fire. The village people never knew about their cats that night. They still talk about the great storm and how their cats slept for a whole day and a night afterward. But what have happened had the cat great lighthouse lantern blown out, they wondered. Little did they know. By Friday, when the sea was at its iridescent shades of blue again, the boat turned up with supplies. Mackerel felt sure he had seen the boat somewhere else. And when a cat, the color of night with flashing eyes, looked out and smiled, he knew he had seen those eyes before. Now, every night, whistling twice as loud, the lighthouse keeper still sits with Mackerel and his new friend. Together they scan the sea and watch the glow of the great lantern creeping far and wide as the sun sets and the moon rises. So lighthouses have been around for a long, long time. If you ever get a chance to go up in one, it's a view you'll never forget. So watch for those lighthouses and have a great day.